Hi everyone, I'm back again. It's been like five weeks or something since my last video. Um, I've had a bit of a busy month to be honest. Um, haven't had a lot of money to buy records. Um, I sort of spent all my money way too quick last time. Um, so there's some stuff I have bought, but it hasn't been a lot. But I thought I would show some other stuff that I've had for a while um, that's kind of new. Um, right now, listen to one of the coolest records ever made, Rock and Roll Outlaws by the Mighty Rose Tattoo from Australia. One of my favorite records ever made. Uh, and also, before I get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed because I'm like 99 subscribers now or something, which is great. I never even thought about, you know, people being interested. So, yeah, like, thanks for that. Like, that's really cool. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get started. Uh, first of all, I've got like quite a few seven inches to get through, actually, which is cool. Um, first one is the self titled EP by Necros. Let's just turn it down a minute. If you don't know, Necros are like. 80s hardcore band from the US, something like Detroit or something. Uh, this isn't their best record. Uh, Congress of Death, so one of, their best, you know, one of my favourite records ever, actually. So, but I don't have that. But I've got this one. This is pretty cool. It's like a modern reissue. Uh, nice to have. So, yeah, there's that one. I got this kind of recently, actually. This is like a reissue of an old Japanese split seven inch that came out in like '85 or something. Uh, just human gas and. Uh, Stal Stalinism. Uh, from what I understand, it's like an old seven inch that kind of got lost amongst all the crap um, that was just around and like it was considered like non existent or something. I don't know. I read something about it but being like people didn't realize, you know, believe that this record even existed or something like that. But yeah, it's cool. This is like a modern uh, repress. And I know that they did like a box set of like all their. Um, like the whole discography and like live stuff, but it was a bit too expensive for me, so I just I just picked this up. Um, and funny enough, I did actually miss out on this first time round, but then a distro that I buy from like fairly regularly, like it came up on it, so I thought, yeah, go for it. Like nice to have, so cool that got that one. Uh, I did actually go out yesterday. I went to Plymouth yesterday, uh, not to a gig or anything like that, but like music gig. But I thought, oh, there's a record shop there that I went to last time I was there. Um, so I thought I would go in and just see what they had. Um, but yeah, I got I got a couple of things. Uh, this is Countdown by UK Subs, it's a seven inch. Uh, I didn't actually look at this properly when I picked it up. I was like, oh, I don't have this one. It's got a bit of ring wear and stuff, but it's three quid. So why not? You know, UK Subs, you know, great. It's, you know, so good. Uh, I think this is my 81, I think. Um, and is it F81? Yeah, 1981. So yeah, I don't have that one, so I thought I'd get pick that up. That's fun. And next, I love I love this single. From like 1979, I believe. This is, uh, yeah, 1979. This is Back of My Hand by the Jags. I love this song. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just so infectious, isn't it? It's great. Uh, but I don't have it. I know it comes out, it's also got on like a 12 inch as well. Um, but yeah, I'd never actually seen this seven inch in a shop before, and they had two, so I picked like the you know best condition one. So yeah, that's fine. I think I like, paid like three quid for that as well. Uh, recently, there's a record label in California called One Two Three Go Records, and they're reissuing the whole back catalogue of Pinhead Gunpowder, uh, which is Pinhead Gunpowder is uh, Aaron Comet Bus from Crimp Shrine and Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. It's like side project from like the early nineties, and they're doing like a seven inch and an LP like every so many months, which is cool. Um, I've got the first one, but this is the uh, Fahiza EP. I don't know whether I pronounced that right, but they're cool. Like they're doing it on like, um, like these color vinyls and stuff. Like that's like a split. They're doing like an exclusive, if you like subscribe, which you, well, I haven't, I haven't done that. You get like, uh, you know, they have like a special color, but also if you just buy it in general, there's also another color vinyl. So it's pretty cool. It's like kind of a collectible thing. Um, I mean, I think the seven inches are still out there, like, but I think they're getting harder to find. So, I think it's kind of cool that um, you know they're doing this, so that you know the whole back catalogue has been reissued. All right, yeah. Uh, so going back to uh, maybe like a month ago, uh, like the VC stream. So I'm having a coffee. I had a bit of a late night last night, so I'm, I need a bit of a, a bit of a wake up. Yeah, going back to like a month ago, there was like a VC stream that I was uh, able to attend. Uh, and it's safe to say that I uh, I got quite a bit pissed. I got quite drunk, so um, 
uh, to say the least. And anyway, uh, talking of this band came up, this is Schizos, this is the fuck Iggy Pop 7 inch. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> my arm was twisted and I, I ordered it there and then. Um, you know, in my moment of weakness, I was forced to order it, which is great. It's a really great 7 inch actually. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, really cool. Um, but funny story about this, like, so there's a there's a distro in the UK called Drunk and Sailor Records, and this is where I've ordered this from. But I was on there like, oh great, they've got like two of them. They got like, two of their seven inches. So I bought them both, and listened to this one. I thought it was great, like it's good fun and that. Um, and then I listened to the second one, which is this one, uh, Schizo. So this isn't the same band. This is like some like psychedelic like sort of like proto metal band from like 90, the early 70s like 1972 i think this came out but because i was so wasted i just ordered it like oh yeah it's the schizos uh but from listening to it and looking it up i was like it's not even the same band like at all like i think they're from france i think this record's from france uh it's pretty good nonetheless but <laughs> in my my in the, what, in the state that I was in, I just ordered it like, oh yeah, great, like two schizo seven inches. So I'm now on the hunt for the rest of <laughs> some more of their stuff. But yeah, this is cool to have anyway. Um, it's just, just funny that I didn't even realize that it was just, you know, two, you know, completely different bands. I, I guess they're like spelt the same, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I, bought, I got this as well. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, so more like, kind of recent stuff band from New Zealand called the Datsuns uh, yeah this is like a 7 inch from 2000 and does it even tell me 2002 uh, yeah they're, they're cool um, pretty garage rock um, the bass player and singer is now in the helicopters but um, this is his band from back then yeah I think they had some sort of like semi sort of decent success at the time um, I hope there's not too much glare on this, by the way. They're, it's actually kind of a nice day today. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I picked that up recently. It's not hard to find. I, I just like the Datsuns. I think they're really cool. Okay, I showed, like, I showed a record by this band a while ago. I got this at the same time. I don't know why I didn't show it at the same time. But, uh, this is You're a Ball, oh, Such a Ball by The Riffs. Again, Riffs, really good band from, like, mid 2000s sort of playing sort of like rock and roll influenced street punk uh, yeah really cool um, yeah sort of like exploding hearts as well that kind of like influence really good I'm glad to have this you, again you don't find stuff like this in the UK that often come out on eBay all right so after lockdown uh, like the first lockdown like whenever it was we've had so many of the things um, when bands started touring again and gigs started happening again. Um, this is the first band I saw. I didn't pick this up there, but I just, for some reason, bought this. Uh, this is the Nick Motown EP by Snaff. Uh, Snaff, uh, like, they're a fat records band, but they're from the UK. Um, but they're kind of their own thing, really. I know that some of the members had, like, their stint in, like, Leatherface and, like, Duncan from Snuff plays in the Toy Dolls now, plays drums in the Toy Dolls. But they're kind of their own thing, really. They're just sort of like, they do have that sort of like, you know, melodic side to them, like, you know, with like the harmonies and stuff like that. But they're just kind of, I know, a lot of fun. Like, you know, they're just a laugh, you know. They were great live. Like, it was really cool to come back after, like, not going to a gig in like two years um, and seeing Snuff. They were, yeah, really good fun. So I saw them in Exeter, yeah. That was really cool. So that's that. Um, yeah, this is from like a, um, like a series that the Bounce and Souls did when they released like their Ghost on the Boardwalk album. They released like four seven inches or something that all like fitted together um, that made like the album, I guess, on a nice clear, clear vinyl. Excuse me. Yeah, I just, I don't know why I've got one, but I just bought it. Um, yeah, Ghost on the Boardwalk, Boogie Woogie, Downtown, Badass, and you check out. Yeah, I love the Bamford Souls. Like, I've always loved the Bamford Souls. They're just it's a good fun time, you know? Um, so, yeah, got that one. 
a bit more, some more street punk. This is Road Warrior by The Habit, a uh, band that recently reformed. This is like their, this is on punk hall records. Oh, it's got uh, 17 Years of Hell uh, cover, you know, by the Partisans. Uh, that's cool. Um, I've only listened to this like once. But yeah, this is cool to have. They're kind of like a bit more, uh, they've got like long hair and like sort of like glammy kind of hair instead of like mohawks and stuff which is cool. Um, they traded in their mohawks for like glammy hair which is cool. So yeah, never see stuff like that in the UK come up. Another one of my favourite bands, US Bonds, Great Lakes of Beer. This is like a kind of an early-ish one, well sort of early, like 2001. This is really great 7-inch actually, really, really great 7-inch. Again, shame that Dwayne Peters has kind of gone the way that he has with his politics and stuff. Um, you know, it doesn't really translate very well in terms of like who he was. Um, but all the same, his music was great and I love I love the US Bonds, so I'm trying to track down as much of stuff that they, you know, I can find of theirs. So yeah, got that one. Uh, yeah, a band from the UK. Um, I don't know if people are aware of this band so much, like anywhere else, but they should be. This is Bad Nerves. They're kind of like, they're like, to be honest, if there's a, a band I can recommend people, it is Bad Nerves. Like they just put out an LP like last year, um, and it's like 23 minutes or something. It's like pure like power pop punk, but it's like, it's so like the Ramones, but so much like, I don't know, it's just got its own sound. It's so good. Like it's just, like they're one of the best bands in the last 10 years in my opinion. But the, but, if, but this just can't be mine. This is a seven inch. Um, I've got a couple of other seven inches as well, but I just pulled this one out because you know, why not? But yeah, definitely check out Bad Nerves. I think their album is like self-titled. I don't have it actually. But um, it's like self-titled, it's like pink lettering around the outside. It's really cool, but definitely check it out if you like that kind of like really fast, like late 70s power pop punk sound. So good, so good. Well, I went for a phase of, like a few years ago. Um, yeah, I got these a while ago. Um, I'm looking for like, like glam rock seven inches from like the 70s. So I actually got like quite a few. I just pulled out a bunch because I thought it'd be a bit fun to show them. Um, I might just run through these quite quick because I just picked up a bunch here. Okay, so this is Hellraiser by The Sweet. I love The Sweet. And this is Coco by The Sweet. We've done uh, done me wrong all right. It's from 71. This is a cool one. I think this is like a Dutch pressing or something. It's got like a, a picture sleeve. I love like the, like the junk shop glam and like um, the like European pressings of a lot of like glam singles at the time because they didn't really have the same covers over here and they're just, I don't know, they just look so cool. I mean, look at them there. <laughs> this is Boring Blitz, obviously, the classic. All right, a bit of Slade. Take Me Back Home by Slade from 72 with Wondering Why. Yeah, bit of Brian Johnson before he joined ACDC. This is Geordie. This is Can, uh, Can You Do It by Geordie. A really cool one to have. Bit of Mott the Hoople. All the, May, all the way from Memphis and Ballad of Mott. Great, again. A bit, I've got a few T-Rex here actually. So you've got Ride a White Swan with Is It Love by T-Rex from 1970. I need to find a better way of doing this because I just sort of like put it from like one side of the floor to the other. Um, but yeah, this is Jeepster. Yeah, well good, Jeepster. And then you've got uh, Life's a Gas on the other side. This is an early one. This is well, not an, it's a cool label though. Bit of Hot Love by T-Rex. Uh, with Woodland Rock. Nice stuff. An absolute classic, Children's Revolution, uh, 1972. Obviously these sleeves have been like, I didn't change them, but you know. What else have we got here? Telegram Sam, is my main man. We have Cadillac, uh, Baby Strange on the B side. So there was a guy that, I used to work in a post office uh, a couple years ago, and there was a guy that come in, and he used to like send records and that. 
and I used to talk to him about vinyl and that. Um, and he was like, oh, I've got all these like glam, glam records I'm getting rid of, like if you want them. So I was like, oh yeah, that'd be great. So he brought them in and he was like, oh, just give me a tenner for the lot. And it was just like a, I don't know, like 15 singles or something. And they're all like original pressings from the 70s. So obviously, you know, got to be done. Uh, Laser Love and Life's an Elevator by T-Rex. This is just some of them as well. Uh, Chrome Star in New York City. And that's the last of the T-Rex. Bit of Bay City Rollers now. Give a little love and she'll be crying over you. This is from 75. Yeah, cool. Am I the first person to refer to Bay City Rollers as cool? But there you go. Bit of Alvin Stardust, my Coochie Coo. Classic, of course. Alright, well that's the last of the 7 inches, I feel like I've been going on for a bit now. I've just got a 10 inch to show actually, I thought I'd show a 10 inch. Uh, this is a band called The Speedways, so The Speedways are a power pop band from like London I think. Um, yeah, this is a really cool record actually, it's just covers. They've got a couple of albums, I think I've shown one before, but uh, this has got some really cool covers on it. Uh, just five songs, it's got a Hannah Rocks cover, an ABBA cover, what else is on it actually? Okay, so you've got... Does it even tell you? I should really look, look this up. Uh, Kirsty McCall. Uh, oh, right, what am I doing? Oh uh, yeah, so there's a Billy Ocean cover, Love Re Hurts Without You. Um, there's the, the ABBA cover, they cover SOS, and it's so good, like, so good, uh, just on black 10 inch. But yeah, it's so cool. Um, and like, uh, 11th Street Kids by Hanoi Rocks. Um, yeah, yeah, really cool. Um, yeah, if you like that kind of like Elvis, like late seventies Elvis Costello uh, sound, um, yeah, really cool. Like this, I don't know. Like every time I put this on, I just go straight to SOS. Listen to SOS uh, by Abba, so good. Um, but yeah, I recommend checking out the Speedways if you like that kind of thing, which I know a lot of you out there do. Yeah, I think they're really cool, like real authentic sounding as well. So yeah, cool. I just got a couple of LPs just to round the video off. I was talking earlier about the Pinhead Gunpowder. This is Carry the Banner. This is like the second album, but I think this originally came out on a 10 inch. Um, but this is a 12 inch version, which I think is cool. Uh, again, this has come out on a, a nice color vinyl. It's like a black and white split. Yeah, really cool. Um, 45 RPM, I guess, you know, being a, originally being a 10 inch. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. So they've got like, like, two or three more like things coming out over the next year or so i think the next one's coming out pretty soon um because i don't think they have too many albums i can't remember completely but uh yeah yeah so that'd be cool i'm just gonna get get them when they come out i'm not gonna subscribe because you know money in that and last but not least again a nice reissue this is deaf church by rudimentary p9 this is a classic, obviously from the eighties. Uh, it just—it's unbelievable how good this album is. Like, it still holds up now. I know, like, the band have like recently released like a new like album or something like a year or two ago. So I don't know whether that means they're like back for good or back properly or whatever. But I believe this is their first album. Um, come out on like sealed records, I think they're called um, in the UK. And I know that they. They're also reissuing their first seven inch, which I've pre-ordered. Uh, they were going to release like the, another seven inch, but it's recently been bootlegged or something like that. I read so that they didn't actually, they weren't able to do it because they I don't know. I guess maybe like the bootleg will like stop people from, but I don't, I don't know what the situation, but anyway, so this is like a new reissue. I think there's a white vinyl version. Mine's a black vinyl version. I guess I just missed out. Uh, but yeah, the seven inch is coming out soon. If anyone wanted to grab that. I'm pretty sure this is still available. It's a really nice reissue, actually. It's still, it's like a nice fold-out sleeve. Um, I might actually show it, actually. Because I know that the original is, like, really hard to come by. So you've got, and the artwork's insane on this. So you've got, like, it's a bit of artwork, all the lyrics. The other side, you've got artwork again. It's just, this, yeah, the artwork is mental, like. To look inside this person's mind, you think, fucking hell. Yeah, there we are, look. Nice bollocks. Really thick, thick quality. 
uh, not cheap it's not been done it's not dodgy um, sounds great as well so yeah yeah so anyway that's all my stuff to show today um, it's been a while like I said it's been a while um, I nearly finished with coffee that was all right wasn't it uh, yeah it's been a while so hopefully I'll have another video up soon I just don't have the money right now to just like splurge on records that <laughs> that I would like to but I do have some stuff I could still probably show anyway so but yeah anyway until next time I hope everyone's doing all right and thanks again for subscribing uh keep them coming if you enjoy it like you know really appreciate the support and that so anyway good to see everyone you know in the future so thanks very much